Bloody hell, it's cold and very windy, so you can only hear a word I'm saying because of the wind. Then I do apologise, but but we are here in New Brighton. There it is. The Light Cinema. So we are going to watch Tick Tick Boom, a new movie musical directed by Lynn Mel Miranda, who wrote and starred in Hamilton. Um and it also stars Andrew Garfield and Vanessa Hudgens. Yes, Andrew Garfield is in Spider-Man and Vanessa Hudgens from High School Musical. This is probably going to be a brilliant film. The reviews are really good. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. Now, this is a Netflix film, so it will be on Netflix from Friday. But it's got a cinema release. It's got a week in cinemas before it comes out onto Netflix. So I thought I'd catch it a bit early and see it at my local cinema. The light. We're going to start by getting some lunch. Well, not lunch. Tea, lunch, tea in Burger King before we go in, and then we'll go in and watch the film. I might go into Home Bargain and grab myself a snack or something to um, you know, have while I'm watching the film because it's like just over two hours, I think. So, yes, I'll see you all in a bit. Okay, I'm home from seeing Tick Tick Boom. I'm not going to like do a big ramble. I'm not going to do like a really long review for this film. I'm just going to kind of talk about some of my thoughts. Um, but I'm not going to like have a big, you know, big ramble because I know the people, a lot of people find that boring. So Tick Tick Boom is a Netflix movie musical starring Andrew Garfield and Vanessa Hudgens. There's also lots of cameos. In the Heights cameos and Hamilton cameos, um, which I'll talk about. I don't know if I should talk about it. It could be a spoiler. I know a lot of people won't have seen the film yet because it doesn't come out on Netflix. I'm going to try and get this up before it comes out on Netflix. It follows the story of Jonathan Larson, who is the creator of Rent. Um, and... Really... It's like about the struggles that he faces in his life um, whilst writing a musical. Um, and his musical's very, it's not doing very well. It's, um, no one wants to produce it. Um, so it's about him trying to organize a workshop and yeah, um, him worrying about it all. And then there's other little things going on in his life, like things that he needs to... So basically, right. So the reason it's called Tick, Tick, Boom is because it's like there's several different things, like the like the, like there's several different clocks ticking. So there's loads of things that he needs to get done by a certain date and it's all about like, the struggles of that and him trying to get it all done and obviously and the main thing is obviously his um musical there's loads of other little things as well now right off the bat this film is a very very good movie musical directed by lynn manuel miranda the creator of my fav one of my favorite musicals hamilton i absolutely adore hamilton and i adore lynn Manuel miranda Lynn Manuel Miranda for his, you know, for his work in Hamilton. Uh, I was expecting a lot from his, you know, him as a director, and he is excellent. He did a great job at this, um, and yeah, um, the cameos there are is a Hamilton cameo and an In the Heights cameo, and there's some other little cameos dotted about as well. Um you know throughout this one scene this one number which is very very good i think the the guy from Hades town turned up i think um so there was loads of little cameos which i really enjoyed um and yeah i'm not going to say anything about the hamilton or the in the heights ones i was so excited when i saw them come up um and they have a great like they're not in very long, but they have, like, a great part in this film. Andrew Garfield. Now, I, 
he played Spider-Man. That's that's obviously what a lot of people know him from. And I, you know, I didn't think he could be a sort of good singer, but my God, he is brilliant in this film. Um, yeah. And from the reviews, I, I kind of had a feeling that he'd be really good. But when it was first announced and the teaser trailer came out, I was like, oh, God. But um, the full trailer came out and I actually, you know, felt a bit more... I started to have a bit more confidence in him. And then I read the reviews and I was like, right, he's going to be amazing. Then. And he really was amazing. So, yes. Uh, Vanessa Hudgens as well was excellent um, in this film. I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoyed her in the film. She's barely in it, okay. If you come in, if you're going to see this film for Vanessa Hudgens, I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> the person that played Jonathan Larson's girlfriend, I feel like should have been playing Vanessa Hudgens' character, and Vanessa Hudgens should have been playing Jonathan Larson's girlfriend. I feel like... They were both, they kind of like needed to swap roles. Um, the person playing um, Jonathan Larson's girlfriend was called, was, um, was Alexandra Sh Shrip. She was really good, really good in this film. Um, had a great singing voice. But I do feel like she could have been playing Vanessa Hudgens' role. Um, Jordan Fisher was also in this film and he was okay. I'm not really a big fan of Jordan Fisher. I don't understand people love him so much. Um, so yes, now I will have to say I've got a couple negatives. This film is, is very, like, I say, like, the writing's good, the musical numbers are good, but there's just parts of the film that are messy and weren't very thought out, which, like, I didn't really enjoy. Which, like, I enjoyed the film, but there's just some parts that I was like, oh, God, I don't know what they were thinking. It's, like, it could be a bit messy at times, but, yeah, apart from that, it's, it's a good film. But definitely watch it when it comes out on Netflix. But if you are going to watch it for Vanessa Hudgens, I don't think I'd bother because she's barely in it. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.